Seven Days Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den basketball community. In this case, smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share the video. All right, man. So back with some more NBA talk. Now, uh, I'm finally calm enough to do a Milwaukee Bucks video. I'm also going to discuss the Lakers putting out the Grizzlies and other things that happened in the NBA. Now, um, first and foremost, um, everything I said about Coach Mike Budenholzer and I've been saying uh, since he's been uh, the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks, is proven once again to be true. The man needs to be fired. Uh, he is just not a good playoff coach, okay? Now, recent, in recent news, uh, it's, it's come out that Mike Budenholzer lost his brother into in a car accident um, during uh, this playoff uh, series with the Miami Heat. Um, my condolences, um, but if... You, his mind was not there. He should not have been able to coach, period, okay? And I don't want to hear that excuse. I am sympathetic, but I don't want to hear that excuse because Mike Budenholzer does the same thing every year uh, in the playoffs, okay? The entire year, we have the best record in the league, or we're one of the best teams in the league, right? By him coaching one style, one way, right? Using the players, uh, uh on the bench, utilizing everybody's strengths, uh, was shooting, everybody's free to shoot their three-pointers, uh, create spacing on the floor. Then playoff time comes around, Mike Budenholzer switches up and tries to play a different style of coaching, okay? We don't stretch the floor anymore. He's, he's stuck on a couple of guys that he likes. He keeps playing these guys, and then he you lose people on the bench like Javon Carter. Last year when we played the Boston Celtics, in the playoffs, we were down Chris Milton. This man refused to play Javon Carter, even though Javon Carter had been shooting the three-pointer at 40% all year, and when we could use some extra offense, he refuses to play Javon Carter because he believes Javon Carter is a liability on defense. Well, guess what? Everybody on the court is a liability on defense because Boston is scoring at will. At least if you put Javon Carter in, maybe this kid can come in, hit a couple threes in a row, inspire the team, but – Budenholzer don't think like that. So so Mike uh, Budenholzer allowed Javon Carter to sit on the bench last year in, during that Boston series. This year, what does he do? Uh, we do all these trade. We do all this trading to get Jay Crowder. Now, I know Jay Crowder hasn't played his best basketball with us so far, but we figured he's going to break out in the playoffs, right? This is his element in the playoffs. What does Budenholzer do? Let Jay Crowder ride the bench. Don't even give the man no run. Same thing with Javon Carter. Don't get a man no run. Javon Carter shooting over forty percent from the three point line. We going we looking for offense. Just let the man sit on the bench. Unbelievable. Bobby Portis only played seventeen minutes. You talking about our energy guy? The the man who who gets who he's the reason. Bobby Portis is the reason we won the sole game we won in this series, which was the second game. Uh, uh Bobby Portis. Let a fuel under the team, right? He let a fuse under the team, and everybody got, you know, got inspired and they came out there and they did their thing. That's his job. But Budenholzer is arrogant. He's stuck up. Uh, he's setting his ways. Um, the fact that this man allowed Jimmy Butler to do what he did in each of those playoff games, there is no excuse for that. None. The man should be fired. Now, I know. Bucks haters or Giannis haters, people who are jealous of Giannis, people who never give him credit for nothing, um, who secretly hate him, it's probably secretly hate me. Listen, those guys are con are going to blame Giannis. They're never going to blame Coach Budenholzer. Now, if this was Doc Rivers, if this was Tyron Lou, if this was Ime Doka, oh, they have everything to say about it. It's in the interest of keeping it real. But when it's Mike Budenholzer, they got nothing to say. No, nah, I don't want to hear that. This got to do with this is Giannis's fault, right? This is what they'll say. Now, Budenholzer, the head coach, the man who's responsible for the game planning and the scheming, that's his job. That's not Giannis's job, right? So we ain't finna take away uh, uh, Budenholzer's responsibility and give it to Giannis, okay? Budenholzer's job is to come up with a defensive scheme for the guy who's been cooking you, Jimmy Butler. One man, 
That's it. That's all he had was one man who was allowed to freely get to the rim at will. Now, sure, they had help, help from the referees, but so what? It happens sometimes. Bottom line is this. Mike Budenholzer refused to order a double team on Jimmy Butler. His ego would not allow him to do so. He wouldn't double team Jimmy Butler. He knew Drew Holiday needed help. Drew Holiday is one of the best defenders I've ever seen. But every once in a while, you run into somebody who you just can't mess with, and Drew just couldn't mess with Jimmy. Jimmy was in the zone. Drew could mess with him. Drew, uh, Jimmy was in was in Drew's head. He was talking to him the whole game. You know Drew Holiday is not – he not no – Look, the Drew Holiday is, is a beast, bro, but he's not that guy that's going to trash talk with you and take it personal. He's not like a Patrick Beverly type of guy, right? And Mike Budenholzer allowed Drew Holiday to be humiliated game after game. He didn't try to help him. He didn't send some assist, assistance over there, try to trap Jimmy Butler, take the ball out of his hands, force one of these other guys on Miami to beat you. He did nothing of the sort. He allowed every game, game after game, to, to watch Drew Holiday get torched, and it hurt me to watch that, man. Drew Holiday did not deserve that. He's too good of a player, too valuable to the Bucks for you for this coach to sit over there and try to ruin Drew Holiday's confidence. He's a prideful defender. You don't let somebody get cooked like that without sending help. It's ridiculous. It's no, it's no excuse for it, bro. Like, I, like I'm saying, you can sit here and blame uh, the players all you want to, but at the end of the day, this was a coaching decision. Um, you put that water in the freezer? That water, you put it in the freezer? Bring it back. This was a coaching decision. All right, period. And Budenholzer should be fired. There is no excuse for what that man did out there. Allowing this great team to lose to one guy. Single-handedly beat the Milwaukee Bucks, Jimmy Butler. He got to the hole when he wanted to. He shot threes when he wanted to. He shot the mid-range when he wanted to. I mean, I saw Chris Milton was literally running from him on the court. It was crazy. So he has to be fired. A, a culture, it has to be a culture change. The, 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 the championship we won that year with Budenholzer, and I keep telling people, that was in spite of Budenholzer, man. That, that dude almost cost us a championship that year. People keep forgetting this. He didn't even double team KD. He put he put uh, PJ Tucker on KD, and PJ was getting cooked. I mean, PJ did the best he could, but he was getting cooked too. The man just this he he stuck in his ways. He has his own philosophy, and this is what he he didn't want to play Bobby Portis in the net series. When he finally played them, we, we we did great. We did wonderful. You know what I mean? So, hopefully, Budenholzer is fired. Uh, otherwise, uh, we, we're we not going to win nothing else with Budenholzer. It's just not going to happen, okay? If Budenholzer is still there as the Milwaukee Bucks coach next year, it's just going to be another wasted season, man. Um, we, we can't win with that guy. He's, he's unreliable as a head coach. The I, I don't believe that the players respect him. Um, because because his actions, there are no justifiable uh, uh, reasons for his actions. All right, so I can't like Jay Crowder just came out and said he don't know why the Bucks uh, traded for him because he didn't get a chance to, to play or, or like in, in the you know in the playoffs. So he don't know why he was brought here. Yeah, a lot of people ain't gonna know. So Budenholz needs to be gone. All right, now um, and, and and that's the thing too. Let me say this too. That's another thing, man. Look, I'm a Bucks fan. Okay, first and foremost, that's why I'm on here talking about basketball. I'm a Bucks fan. Now I'll talk about these other guys, but I, I care about the Bucks. Okay. The difference between me and a lot of other guys is when I first came on YouTube talking basketball, I was a Bucks fan. Last year, I was a Bucks fan. This year, I'm a Bucks fan, right? I don't have the luxury of hopping from sack to sack to sack to sack, depending on what player get traded or what player demand a trade. No, I'm here. A Bucks fan, all right. I'm going to keep it 100 at all times. I'm going to ride with my squad at all times. Win, lose, or draw. Ain't no saving myself from getting cooked. Ain't no uh, 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 saving my, throwing my team under the bus because I don't want to eat crow. No. If they lose, I lose because I'm a fan, okay? The real one's going to respect it, you know what I'm saying? 
The rest of them going to be looking for, you know what I'm saying? What happened to all the Brooklyn Nets fans? Where they at? Where are the Brooklyn Nets fans at? Man, you got KD, you got Kyrie, you got Harden. Man, where you at now? I know. Somewhere gobbling and swallowing somebody else. That's what y'all do. Hop from sack to sack to sack. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm told the, uh, uh, the the Miami Heat fans from before, they left. They might be back now. Come on, bro. Y'all know what time it is. But anyway, let's talk about the Lakers. I predicted that the Lakers would beat uh, the Memphis Grizzlies in seven. The Lakers ended up beating them in six. I told you then why um, I believe that the Lakers would beat Memphis. It's because... Memphis is a young team. They talk a lot of trash, but they don't have any discipline. Uh, with everything that went on this year with John Morant, um, you got uh, Stephen Adams, their uh, center, is hurt, and you got John Morant going getting in trouble. Uh, not, you know, it's no leadership on the team. So when you, if you got to go up against uh, veterans like LeBron James, uh, guys with experience, Anthony Davis, and the, this team that they've put around. Um, LeBron now, okay, um, after the trade deadline, when they traded Westbrook and they traded Patrick Beverly and they got rid of a few other guys, they got in return a, a, a all these pieces that made a great team, okay? So the Lakers were legitimate, uh, uh, you know, in regards to beating Memphis Grizzlies. I, the Grizzlies were never a threat to the Lakers. Uh, it just, it's just not, right? They talk a lot of trash, but they don't back it up. You know, they just that's who they are. You know what I'm saying? Um, how far can the Lakers go? Um, they have a talented team. Um, I, I have to see if Golden State, if Golden State beats uh, Sacramento, I have Golden State beating the Lakers in the second round. If Sacramento beats Golden State, the Lakers will beat Sacramento in the second round. Okay? For the similar reasons um that I gave about Memphis maturity man I just don't trust Sacramento's maturity stage fright they're playing against LeBron James it's the playoffs a lot of these guys grew up watching this guy so they idolize him right so in clutch moments and stuff they, they're gonna become fans and I don't trust them the Lakers can beat Sacramento Sacramento's a great team not taking nothing away from them but the Lakers can beat Sacramento I don't know if the Lakers are gonna be able to beat um the Warriors. And let me tell you something else, too. Uh, uh, first of all, the Suns, look, man, I'm not – look, this is why I'm so angry with the Bucks. I know the Bucks could have beat the Suns, man. I know it. And the fact that we gave this away, we wasted a complete year, gave it away because you don't want to double-team Jimmy Butler and just let this dude cook you, it's unreal to me. But whatever. We're moving on. The Suns are not that good. The Lakers can beat the Suns. The Lakers can beat the Suns. The Suns were struggling with the Clippers, an injured Clipper team. A Clipper team with no Paul George and no Kawhi Leonard, and these Suns were struggling with them. Every game was tight and close, right? And Devin Booker had the nerve to be talking greasy, like, like and be, be all happy, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really doing something. Like, bro, when you play up against somebody who got weapons and got enough uh, uh, depth to guard you and KD, we're going to see how, how what happened to them 35 and 40 point games when, when you know, because right now Devin Booker is eating because KD is being double teamed. So he's freeing up all this space for himself. KD is requiring so much attention, demanding so much respect from the defenses. You, Devin Booker is eating, right? So he are, he happy right now. But I don't think, I'm not confident the Suns can beat the Lakers um, at all. Um, now, as for who else over there, um, the Nuggets, I'm, I don't know about the Nuggets, man. Uh, it would be right if Nikola Jokic finally got a championship. It would be right since he's a two-time MVP and the media and nobody wants to put pressure on this guy to win uh, conveniently like they put pressure on all these other people. They want, oh, no, it's no, no – Jokic doesn't have a team. Sure he does. You got he, Come on, man. This dude got a team. So Jokic, you know, they did good in the first round. Now they should uh, be have the expectations of winning the championship. That's what they should have this year. But I don't know how good they are. I got to see. You know what I mean? 
I'm still up, still up in the air about about Nikola Jokic and the uh, the Nuggets, all right? But right now, I think Golden State Warriors, man, if they can come back and beat um, Sacramento in Game Seven, I think the West is Golden State's to lose. They're still the champions. They still got a lot of experience. The team has been together the longest. Um, you know, they have slowed down for sure. Uh, games are going to be close and tight, but um, Golden State, I think, is uh, my favorite. If they can beat Sacramento, I would pick Golden State to beat and to come out to come out of the West. Uh, if they can't beat Sacramento, then it's going to end up being the Lakers, bro. No matter how y'all feel about LeBron James, how you feel about the Lakers, it's going to end up being them. If Golden State don't stop them, ain't nobody else going to stop them. KD is not going to stop no LeBron James with no uh, uh, – Phoenix Suns, nothing happened. The Suns are not deep, bro. They got three people, three or four people on their team. This is, I'm telling you, it's sweet. It just looked good. They got big names, but bro, them they cannot afford no injury. They can't afford nobody leaving at halftime, not coming back. They can't afford nothing. All the depth is gone, bro. And these dudes playing a lot of minutes. KD, uh, Devin Booker, all them guys had to play a lot of minutes just to get past a hurt Clipper team, bro. Come on, man. I ain't buying this. I ain't buying this son's uh, business. Not at all. Well, they got to show You got to show me. You got to prove it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's my opinion on what's been going on with, with basketball, the NBA. Um, oh, yeah, the Clippers. We talk about the Clippers. The Clippers did good, uh, but I knew that they wasn't going to beat the Suns. I, I predicted that they would lose to the Suns. The moment Paul George got hurt, and I, I told y'all then, uh, the Suns are going to beat the Clippers. Uh, everybody said, no, man, no, the Clippers can't win. I'm like, bro, no, you you gassing yourself. The Clippers cannot beat the Suns without Paul George, bro. All right, but then they played good with Kawhi and Westbrook. So I'm like, man, okay, they're doing all right. Then Kawhi go down, it's over. Everybody know it's over. But some people still want to act like the Clippers have some glaring, some 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 glimmer of hope, just because they want to really low key blame Westbrook. They want to, you know, what I'm saying they didn't want to have this atmosphere where. Russ is a sympathetic figure where he playing and he the only one playing for his team. They want to still make it have these expectations where Russ is the leader. You know what I'm saying? So that they can blame him uh, when the Clippers fail ultimately. And that's what people do. I even heard Laker fans still talk about Westbrook. It's pathetic, bro. I mean, look, after last night's game, what the uh, Lakers beat Memphis, you had Laker fans running around here talking about Westbrook. Like why is this man still in your mind living rent free? The man's not there. Y'all acting like this man had done something horrific to y'all or something. You know what I'm saying? What are y'all talking about? He's not there. He was with you for one year and a half. These dudes be scarred, bro. They like they just they looking for they want somebody to cook and blame and beat up on so bad, somebody to bully. Y'all will have y'all chance. Trust me, y'all will have y'all chance. Because if the Lakers don't win the win the championship, I already know what you do. You do is predictable. You are gonna blame everybody but LeBron. You gonna throw you gonna throw everybody under the bus. Y'all gonna blame Coach Darvin Ham, even though it's funny because y'all won't blame Mike Budenholzer. But y'all blame Coach Darvin Ham, right? You gonna blame Anthony Davis, D'Angelo Russell, or somebody? But it's gonna be anybody other than LeBron James. That's what y'all do. So anyway, that's my two cents on the matter. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty ODBC. Y'all smash the like button. I'm up out of here. Deuces.